So we'll do a little bit of lecture, not too bad. You'll still have time to work. And I'll show you some examples of stuff as well. So first of all, what I want to show is the big idea is that you're going to make an animated movie. And I've got here examples from previous semesters of various students. I'm just going to pick one rather randomly. I don't fully remember them all. It was a whole year ago. But let me play one. Let's see if my volume is OK. This is Beast Hall, and today is the day all of you perform unison to be chosen by an egg. Huh? Hello? Is anyone in there? So that student, uh, she did have a lot of prior experience in drawing and uh, multimedia and such. So that's a very polished um, uh, video. Uh, how long did that last? Uh, that was about a minute. You're going to need to do at least 30 seconds long video. Uh, so let's see, here's another one. was a lot more of a story, right? And this one was a little bit of a teaser. What's gonna happen next? That's perfectly fine. You don't have to make a huge epic movie and you're not gonna have the time to make a huge epic movie and that's fine. But let's look at some other examples. Uh, you, Some of you might know this student. Actually, unfortunately, I, th I don't think this one has sound. Sound will be required in the... Um, in your movie. So you can see here, without the sound, um, you're missing something. You're missing a style or a mood in a movie. Visuals, I think, are very good. Actually, it's really dark on the screen there, but that, that alarm would have been nice to hear an alarm. So music will be an important part. And all of this stuff of all of these movies, we're going to talk about. Uh, how do we do these things? Some of these things are things that you might have already learned in the basic class. And we're going to talk about, of course, some of the more advanced stuff like uh, parallax scrolling backgrounds and scenes and music, synchronization, all that cool stuff. But this one... Okay, so something's going to happen. And... Uh, oh, okay, so... So that one had some music eventually, and you saw that it gave you a certain style and mood. It probably would have also, even if the beginning was going to be silent, it might have still been nice to have like ch uh, crickets chirping or some other sort of sounds at the beginning before getting to the main action.
Okay. So, um, again, like artistic ability and all of that is completely subjective, but there will be a checklist of what you need to do. Is it 30 seconds long? Yes or no? If it's not that long, okay, you don't get full credit on that part. Does it have a scrolling background? Yes or no? If it doesn't have it, okay, minus points on that. Does it have this? Does it have that? So, of course, I'll give you the checklist of everything you need to do. Artistic ability, I'm not grading on that. Obviously, the one we just saw is not as artistically good as the other ones, but if it fulfilled the requirements uh, at the minimum, then it got a, an acceptable grade. Let's see another one here. This was also one that it was missing a little bit, you know, within the deadlines. This obviously is a very detailed visual movie, but time ran out for some things, like those expressions. He was going to do a lot of expressions when they were when they were eating, didn't quite get there. I wasn't quite grading on that. I was grading on 27 seconds long. Nope, we need it to be 30 seconds long. So I need to look at all of those things that I can grade on. And uh, one more. There's a lot of really good ones. And I'm not going to show them all. You can look. Uh, I, I think I'll share this folder in case you want to see them for yourself just to kind of see what other people have done. But let's look at another one. So again, on this, if it had some moody music, some dramatic music. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, that's that project. Eventually, I'll give you all of the requirements of what you need to do on that uh, soon enough. I think I have one more. I should have prepared it here. Uh, let me just pull up one more here, but just let me do this first here. So you're seeing that there is a variety of styles and skills and abilities. Some are very detailed. Some have a lot of, uh, some are like just stick figures. That's perfectly fine. You're going to be graded on going to be graded on your ability to do the required items. Okay, here. All of them have this variety of um, styles and such. Um, this one is an example that has all of these other, well, we're going to talk about all of these techniques about, you see how like the stars are moving behind the scene uh, in front of the text. Uh, then there is uh, this, the, this planet moving into the scene. There was a little craft following a motion path. There's camera movement. We can do some pretty cool camera movement in Adobe Animate where we did that zoom out. And then there's a zoom in right here. And then there's a zoom in to that character so we can control the camera. Uh, there's, the, there's this action that's happening. You see the foreground element, background element, and then the character in the middle. And then here is the camera again moving around, plus the sound. The sound is really giving you this, uh, this mood on these various scenes. 
So we will see that we can get a bunch of great free music over at YouTube. Uh, we can then create these various scenes and put the sound at the right place. You know, without the sound, uh, the, the, the movie still kind of works, hopefully enough to kind of explain what's going on. But obviously with sound, with uh, sound effects and music, it's even better. So we'll cover how to do all of that. Now, before we get to actually making your movie, it wasn't that you just get your pen tablet and start drawing and you've got a movie. You've got to do planning. So we're going to have an assignment for this week that is going to be due on Wednesday at the end of the day, which is going to be a storyboard assignment. So let me cue this up here. A storyboard is, I'm going to give you this document. It's either on paper, if you want to print it out and write it out by, uh, by hand, or if you want to do it digitally in Animate. A storyboard is thumbnails of the various things that your movie is going to be about. It can be as complex as you want, as simple as you want, but the requirements, which we you might have already seen on Canvas, uh, which I'll get back to in a moment, you have these uh, eight panels. Out of these eight panels, if you want, you only need to do one sheet. You can do more than one if you want. But in those eight panels, we have the beginning, middle, and end. What's How does my movie start? What's happening in the middle of the movie? How does it end? So with this student over here, they have that their, you know, their intro, uh, the f one of the first things they see is some sort of close-up, standby mode. They wrote a little bit of text that uh, what will appear on screen is standby mode. A song is going to be this song that they have here. It's going to change over here to some other sort of shot with a little explanation. It's going to change to this, to this, to this. So this can be stick figures. This can be totally simple stick figures to explain what your project is visually as well as a little bit of text that says this is what's this is what I'm going to do here this is the music that might play this is more explanation so let's see an example uh, with Osuna okay she had the one about the duck remember that first one that I showed okay so here's how the storyboard was inside the Beast Hall so we had that shot where there was you know a hallway then we had people in shadow walking by the screen okay that's what she wrote here these people are going to walk to the left. This is a little line showing they're walking to the left. Corridor and shadows of children passing running. Now, I didn't get it when we were watching it that they were children. I just thought people. But here, uh, she had written that they wanted, she wanted them to be children. So maybe some way to further explain that they're children. Maybe if they had, I don't know, like pigtails or like children's clothing. But uh, no, that wasn't a knock on the quality of it. It was just that if they had the idea that I wanted this to be children, I didn't fully get that it was children when the movie happened. They're going past an old door, this one walks, the camera stops here, etc. So we saw the finished result, which was like a, a minute long, I think. But out of these eight panels, this student, she was able to kind of get the story across. Remember when the hand was getting closer to something? Well, there it is right there in the drawing. And then these lines showing we're zooming in so that their hand gets closer to some object. Wonder Duck wakes up and eyes open, his left eye. So there was a, the first drawing of this character's eye that was closed, and then it opened up. And then next panel, walking across the scene, and that's what we saw in the actual movie. So these storyboards are very important for explaining what your project is going to be. Here's one with two uh, storyboards. So oops, this is the one we saw here. We saw the planet, opening shot zooming in to the country area at the counter, at the center of the globe, pictured above. And then the town, city, etc., focused on the character, etc. And then this one was uh, two pages long to fully explain. So the assignment that's going to be due on Wednesday is going to be to um, make a storyboard as complex or as simple as you want. You're going to have today to work on it. If you still need to work on the model sheet, you'll have time to work on it. It's due today. Then you're going to start working on this. And we're going to have then some time as well on Wednesday for you to work on the model sheet because it's going to be due at the end of the day on Wednesday. So you'll have you know Wednesday sometime and sometime today to work on the model sheet because that's going to take you towards eventually to the movie project, the one that I showed earlier, all of this. Well, that comes from learning more things. How do you control the camera? 
how do you do multiple layers, scenes, etc. But before we get to that, you need to plan your project. Questions on that? Your goal for today is make sure you've got the model sheet turned in, start on your storyboard. On Canvas, the files are there. There's the FLA file um, that you can start to work with, um, or I think I can print out printouts if you need it. Just one, one moment. And so you can check on Canvas for that, and um, you'll have time to work. I'll have these various books that you can uh, check out during class if you'd like. I have the pen tablets you can check out if you'd like. I've got the actual uh, previous student printouts of their um, storyboards if you want to look through them. And it'll just be sort of work time at the moment. And uh, hmm, last thing here, if you check Canvas, I'm going to go to Canvas. If we look at our class in Canvas right here, let's see. In Canvas, we have a new module, week two, the storyboard assignment. I'll print out, I'll make some printouts in a moment of the storyboard. I would recommend maybe doing it digitally, or if you're a little bit better at um, you know, pencil, you can do it that way. I'll print these out in a moment. I forgot to do that before class. Yeah, but this is it right here that um, either do it printed out or in Adobe Animate. Um, and you know, do these items requirement, turn it in, etc. by Wednesday. And what we've also got that you should look at this week that I'll come back to in more detail is under the toolkit, week two toolkit, I've got some links here. 12 principles of animation. This is an amazing video. It's like 20 minutes long. I really recommend you watch it. But there is this theory of good animation, which is 12 concepts. If you can master these 12 concepts, or as many of them as you can, your animation will be the best. The, those concepts are also in this book right here, as well as the Tradigital Animate book. They're, they're famous concepts that have been around like 50 years. So it's in these books that you can also check out or watch a video, which is really cool because it tells you what the concept is, squash and stretch, anticipation, staging, and what it is and how to actually do it. There's a walk cycle animation uh, video here. If you want your character to walk, you might want to watch that video. And then an article about what storyboards are. So that's in the toolkit section. You'll have time to work at your own pace. I'll turn the printers back on in just a moment. If you need help printing out, Check with me, but any general questions on the goals? Yes. Um, actually, no, I'll talk about the story okay. of work. And I, I want to write it in on the old fashioned way. So. You mean draw it? Yeah. Yeah, draw I'll print those out in a moment. Yeah. Question? Okay. It was the same thing. Yeah, I'll print out the, the printed oh. storyboards in just a moment. Yes. Do we have more characters or You. You can decide what you'd like to do. Uh, if you've developed this one character, this is at minimum what you need to do in your movie. If you have more than one character, that's, that's fine. Just again, with our time limits, uh, let me see here in general. We're going to have a lecture on Wednesday about some of these concepts. We're going to have another lecture on Monday the 24th. I plan on this being due on July 1st. So we will have just about two weeks to work on this. So within the amount of time of two weeks, you know, all of these students had about two weeks a year ago, and some of them were incomplete, and some of them were complete. So you just have to pace yourself about how much you want to do in about two weeks of class time, in addition to what you can do outside of class. If you have, you know, the software at home and everything, you can spend a lot of time on it. But class time, we've got those, those days, the 19, 24, 26, and then do on that day. Yes. If they're going to speak, you mean? You, you could, yeah. I have microphones and other things that you can record in class here or in my office if it's quieter. So yeah, if you want them to speak, it's not required for them to speak, but if you want them to speak, I have the equipment to record that. Sure. Mm -hmm. So I'll talk about uh, adding music to the video also and where to download it and where to get sound effects when we get to that point. So that's what's going to be the goal and if you need any help let me know and work at your own pace. Turn on the printers. And 
Let me just turn off my recorder and I'll be right back.